What's going on everybody? Cool 200 here back with another NASCAR die cast review video and today we're going to be reviewing wave 8 of the Lionel waves here in 2019. I know it's pretty much almost 2021 but uh, we had to get this wave out for you guys. I'm still cracking down on catching up since I was out of YouTube for a long time but uh we're getting back at it, guys. Slowly but surely, we're getting back at it. It'll be okay. It will be okay. But, uh, yeah, this is a fine-looking wave from Lionel, I think, anyway. Uh, you got some exclusives, of course. Lionel loves to throw exclusives into almost every wave, it seems like. But, um, yeah. I'm going to start this wave off with... King Kyle Busch in the number 51 Cessna truck for his own team, Kyle, Bu uh, Kyle Busch Motorsports. And this is a fine looking truck. This is his Atlanta win, if I'm not mistaken. He won twice. No, he won. Well, they released two of his car trucks that he won in. One at Atlanta and I think one at Las Vegas. If I do have, do have it right beside me here. Uh, yes, Las Vegas was the other one but this is his atlanta win as you can see you've got uh cessna there you got the toyota tundra you got some uh grass here that's kind of how you know it's the atlanta win because it's got grass on the splitter and on the nose uh you've got uh, the 51 there some speckles of debris and stuff you got beachcraft uh exalta series xm uh, TRD, Mobile One, normal sponsors down there. A lot of contingencies for a truck series. That's pretty cool to see. You got 51 there. You got Rowdy on the uh, name rail, of course. You got Cessna, Toyota Tundra out back here. Uh, maybe he got ran into. There is some uh, marks there on the uh, back bumper. You got Toyota and Beechcraft on the, uh, the tail or the bed of the truck here. It's going to say the tailgate, but... This is basically the tailgate. And then, of course, you have the other side. Uh, not a lot to write home about this paint scheme. It's just his normal 51 paint scheme with some debris and stuff. Uh, you could say it's a race version, but it is a race win. Um, it's a decent looking truck. I mean, it's kind of boring for what it is, I, I guess. But um, here's the card it comes with. Just a standard card for a race winner. And uh, there's all that. 52nd NASCAR Gander Outdoors Truck Series win. So congratulations to Chicago Bush. Late congratulations, I guess. But uh, it's a good truck, I guess. You know, nothing too special. All right, moving on. We have uh, another race win. This is Michael Annette's Daytona race win uh, early in the series season. In fact, the first race of the Xfinity Series season, right here in the number one for Junior Motorsports. Um, very nice. You've got some tape on the grill, some dirt and debris all over. It's a black car, so it's hard to see all the dirt and debris. But you've got Life is Why, and then like this like heart logo with a nail in it. Would, would you call that? I don't know what what that is. And then you got America American. Heart Association, which is cool. Nice to see him win in a tribute paint scheme for sure. Or, I mean, I, I think this was a tribute paint scheme. Got the number one there with some dirt and debris on it. You got uh, flying, right, uh, flying jet, I guess you could say, right there for pilot. You got Exalta. Um, you got the um, American Heart Association logo. There again, you got Brant and all their other little sponsors there. Uh, you've got pilotflyingj.com right there. You've got the American Heart Association uh, logo on the deck lid and pilotflyingj.com on the roof. And of course, you have the other side with actually some damage. You got a wheel mark here, some more dirt on the one. Very cool, some dirt on the pilot logo, which I just realized it says pilot. Flying J right there. That's pretty cool. Didn't even notice that before, but that's pretty cool. So, very nice looking car. Um, I like the little flying thing that they have on the sides. Very basic paint scheme, I'd say, but 
it works. Obviously, it worked enough for him to win in it. So, there's the card there with good old Mike Lynette holding up a one and the beautiful trophy there. And, of course, the other side as well. Very nice. First career Xfinity win. And as far as I know, this is still his only win. So, what better way to do it than at the beloved Daytona Motor Speedway from Michael Annette. Very cool. The next one we're going to be looking at is a rather plain paint scheme. This is the Money Lion car for Ryan Blaney slash Brad Keselowski slash Joey Logano because they all ran this paint scheme, I'm pretty sure, at some point. They did change it this year, though, for Joey Logano and uh, Brad Keselowski. I don't think Ryan Blaney drove it this year, but they changed it, so that's nice. But this is the scallop scheme. So you got Money Lion, Pennzoil there, and then, of course, on this side, you have the normal scallops going across the car. We don't really need to diagnose that, but it's a very nice, like, seafoam green type color for this. That's pretty cool. You got uh, Menards, Money Lion, Dex images there. Not sure what that is. I have no idea what kind of dirt Lionel put into my car. You got the seafoam green number 12 up there. Not a lot of seafoam green colored race cars or have any sort of seafoam green on them at all, to be honest. But this is pretty cool, I guess. Definitely interesting and different. You got Money Lion download the app <laughs> on the bumper. Nothing on the deck lid, though, or the roof. Which is quite interesting. And then uh, there is the other side of the uh, race car. So it's a fine looking car. I mean, I like the seafoam green and the white. It's just the basic scallop scheme. And it is what it is. Um, I'm glad they brought back the color though for it uh, this year. It's very nice to see. Here is the magnet it comes with. The seafoam green Scallops 12 there. That's pretty cool. Um, looks great on your fridge. Ah, yes. Lionel's been doing this recently. They bend the corner of the magnet. We love that. So, yeah. Not even the magnets have quality control anymore. Great job, Lionel. Your own die cast. Now you ruin the simplest thing ever. Magnets. Great job. Great job. We, we love that. We're going to move on. And we're going to move on. If I can get these out of the way to Clint Boyer and his Decalb car. Uh, I think he ran this this year as well, but this is his corn car, if you want to call it that. Very weird. You got Decalb there with, you know, it's their logo with corn and a wing. It's kind of weird. And for this car, he does have the yellow wings on it, which is kind of interesting. You know, not, not too bad. You got hashtag my farm, my yield. My yield. Why? Why? I uh, never mind. Yeah, mobile one decal. Uh, there's, there's actually a design back here. I didn't even know that. You got like what this corn looking thing back here. That's kind of weird. You got a uh, Haas rush truck parts, or yeah, right. I don't even know. There are so many truck part. Uh, truck things and NASCAR, it's, it's hard to keep up with all of them. But anyways, back here, it's all the black bumper. You got Mobile One. As Grow leads the way. Oh, okay. You got Decal. Jesus. Did you guys hear that? Mother Nature doesn't care about me making a video. Jeez. And hashtag my farm my yield right there. You got some other logos down here with some dust. This die cast has been sitting for a little while. And then there is this side of the car. Very nice. It's all the same. Very interesting paint scheme. A little plain, but it, it works. I like the yellow 14 on the top. I like the wings. I, I like the little design that I didn't even realize on that uh, quarter panel. So that's pretty cool. And then... Um, before it thunders again, here's the uh, the trinket it comes with. Just a uh, plastic hood. You got the decal logo there. You got the wings on either side. You got Clint Boyer and the 14 right there. Very nice it is. 
unfortunately a plastic hood no magnet hoods yet very sad they can't even bring back like the 2d magnet hoods they have to go with plastic hoods i don't even think we've gotten any magnet hoods for 2019 now that i think about it so that's great moving on though from that one we're going to take a look at kyle bush and his skittles uh what would you call this patriotic paint scheme so <sighs> they tired sorry guys hey uh, but yeah this is a patriotic skittles paint scheme you got american mix skittles or american mix skittles at the uh red white and blue skittles there on the hood with the uh stars and blue right there in the very middle with the red on the outside of course you do have like white stripes going all the way down the bottom of the car. It's very weird, honestly. A little dirt there. You got Reams, Skittles, Interstate Batteries, 18. All the normal stuff there with more dust. Jesus, this car is crazy dusty. You got uh, the 18 there with... Let me clean off this car. Jeez, there's so much dust on it for absolutely no reason. All right, anyway. You got the 18 here on the blue roof with some stars. That's kind of cool. It's like a faded blue stars on it. You got the normal Skittles look, though. Uh, the stripes wrap around on the back bumper. You got Skittles there. Uh, Skittles on the red deck lid. America Mix. That's all it says there on the roof. I'm guessing it's supposed to say America Mix. And then back here it's supposed to say Skittles. Which it does. We're... I don't know, I'm making this weird. Got Stanley there on the C-pillar, didn't even realize that. And you do have the other side of the car. This is the car that he beat Kyle Larson in, unfortunately. So we got the raced version, and now we have the regular standard clean version of the die cast, which is fine. You got uh, Skittles right here, or the trinket right here with Skittles. Uh, very patriotic, I guess, with the stars and the stripes and the red. But, yeah, just a standard magnet without a curve in it. They actually did this one properly, which is quite the shock. But anyway, moving on from that one, we've got Martin Truex Jr. and a Series XM paint scheme. This is definitely an interesting one. I don't think we've gotten a Series XM paint scheme in a wave. Because Eric Jones and a 77 never got made. So, uh... Yeah, this is a cool one for sure. Same paint scheme as uh, this year, so pretty cool. You got Series XM right there on the black hood. Uh, and then over here, you've got uh, the blue and the white, the Series XM Bass Pro Shops. But what's really cool is, depending on the lighting, you can kind of see it's got like volume things in the black. I don't know how well you can see that. Maybe if I zoom in a little bit you can kind of see it's got like amplified volume stuff going across the side definitely cool for sure a nice taste by Lionel and by uh, the paint scheme people as well the paint scheme people anyways you got Series XM there nothing on the back bumper Series XM on the deck lid and the blue roof is why I like the look of the blue roof and the uh, black 19 looks very nice and then, of course, you have the other side of the die cast with a nice ripple effect right there. Great job, Lionel. We love your quality control. But anyway, enough about that. We do have a trinket that it does come with. And that is the magnet. It does not have... At least I don't think it does. It doesn't look like it has the volume stuff that the paint scheme does. Trying to look at it. No, it doesn't. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate there. We got Series X on the paint scheme in the 19. Standard magnet by Lionel with a nice little dent in it. We love that. Great job, Lionel. You're ruining magnets. But there is a good thing. These can actually be somewhat fixed. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. They're just magnets, I guess. They go in the fridge. Whatever. Just sad. Mine was a sad place. <laughs> All right, we got two more die casts to look at. The next one is the uh, Worth paint scheme here for Brad Keselowski. 
is Ford Mustang. This one looks nice. They did away with the scallop scheme and uh, went with their own little flavor here. You've got Worth on the white roof, or roof, hood. Uh, and then over here, you've got red with like this zipper type deal. This looks off though, the, the, the A pillar and the, that, that doesn't match. That, that, that's the only complaint that I'd have on this die cap. Oh, the back doesn't match eat. What the hell? They should have matched the roof up too. Yeah, none of that makes sense. But whatever, you got discount tire worth, snap on, SKF, auto trader. I don't see Alliance truck parts on here. Oh, wait, it's on the deck, but I'm dumb. But anyways, very nice. You got the black, the red, and the white. Kind of nice looking, I'm not going to lie. You got to worth there on the back. You got there's Alliance truck parts right on the deck lid. Nothing on the roof but the uh, white deuce there. And then uh, you got the other side of the die cast. Looks very nice, very sharp. It's always nice to see a paint scheme get changed up after at least a little while. You know, stop trying to unfocus on the die cast, please. But anyway, you have... The uh, die cut magnet kind of all over the place. I don't know where they got this stripe from. Uh, the the white does not really well. I guess it kind of cuts off, but the red is more the cut off. I don't know. This magnet doesn't do it for me, honestly. It just looks out of place, kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. It's a magnet though, I guess. Whatever. As it is raining ridiculously, crazily outside. But anyway, there's that. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the final two die casts here. Second to last, we have Kurt Busch and the Gear Wrench car. Um, this one was not really a shock after they canceled it. Uh, it's always nice to see them put in the canceled cars into some waves. Like that Michael Lynette. I think the Ryan Blaney was... No. Was that? No. I don't think so. I don't know. But the Michael Lynette and the Kurt Busch were... Uh, um, exclusives to this uh, wave. You got uh, gear wrench here on the black hood. You got like this orange type deal all the way around. That gear wrench there. Kroger on the side. Just little baby Kroger. Jesus. Anyways, trying to make a video here and it's raining like hell. But yeah, you got the one there. Just a basic scheme really. You got a little bit of orange that wraps around the, the side of the car here. Um, I think I like this one a little bit more than McMurray's, even though it's pretty plain. But, um, yeah, anyway, you got Gear Wrench here. Nothing on the deck lid, I'm guessing that's supposed to be Monster Energy. You got Gear Wrench there on the roof. And, of course, you have the other side of the car with a nice ripple in the A and the R. Good job, I know. And, of course, it does come with a magnet. There it is, your classic Gear Wrench standard look there to the car nothing bad nothing crazy looks fine but yeah there's kurt bush and the gear wrench car all right second or the last die cast we're gonna look at is chase elliott and the napa brakes uh chevy camaro this is his basic napa paint scheme but they did it up three times you got the standard look which is the white and the blue you got this look, which is black and yellow, and then you had another one, which was what? Uh, blue and like a goldish yellow. Looked pretty cool. Uh, so it was nice to see them change the paint scheme up a little bit here and there. But you do have the white Napa logo here on the black hood. You got some yellow going down the bottom here. Again, it's the normal Napa scheme, but uh, different colors. You got the black nine, you got Napa brakes, Adaptive One, I wonder what that is. You got Hooters, uh, Mountain Dew, Kelly Blue Book, Valvoline. Um, yeah, looks all the, the same. Pretty pretty cool though. I like the, the goldish yellow and the uh, the black. I think it looks good together. You got to Napa Auto Care, Auto, Napa Auto Parts there, and Napa Know How on the roof. Uh, yellow there on the roof with the black nine it looks very very nice of course lino had to add their own little bubble bubble thing right there that's always great to see air bubbles in the paint and then of course you have the other side of this beautiful die cast 
And of course, you've got the trinket that it comes with, the beautiful plastic hood, Napa brakes, Chase Elliott standard, yeah, whatever. But the funny part about this die cast is it was a liquid color, and it's not one of the best. Um, I always save the liquid colors for last. I don't know why. Probably because they're really cool, I guess, but... Boring, just like the Jimmy Johnson. They should have did the yellow. I don't understand. Black liquid colors do not look that great. And this one definitely is no exception. It looks okay, but uh, I don't know. It's got this grayish, like, ghost look to it. It, it just doesn't do it for me. And the 9 isn't even a liquid color, and it's black. Like, what? Usually they do the number too, I think, right? I don't know, I don't really have a... I don't... Yeah, like this Larson here. I've got kind of an example. See how they did the outline for the red and liquid color? They, they didn't do that for this one. So there's a complaint that I have, is the 9 should be liquid color because it's black too, isn't it? Like the whole... the whole base color gets liquid liquefied? Whatever. I don't know. I'm just a diecast collector, what the hell do I know? You know? Whatever, Lionel and their stupid mess ups. But anyways guys, enough about that. I'm just ranting on about uh, liquid colored number. Number. <laughs> but it would have been nice. That would have been a good touch, I think, but whatever. It's Lionel for you, they don't do anything right. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't rant on too, too much for your guys' liking. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some of these good-looking cars. Uh, and uh, let me know. At this point in time, have you guys been able to find the liquid colors in stores? Because I've heard they're really impossible to find. I've had to order all of mine. I haven't seen a single one in stores yet. But I don't know. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoy this video. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Tell me what your favorite paint scheme or favorite die cast was from uh, this wave. And I'll see you guys in the next uh, wave or die cast review video. Peace.